What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from Lazy Tech TV and today we're finally going to be finishing up on the review of the UV400, the SSD from Kingston Technology. Now this is the 480 gigabyte version, but they have other sizes obviously. And the nice thing about this is that not only can you use this in your laptop as I did, but also your desktop. And if you want to, you could maybe potentially put it in your PlayStation, but they say not to, but you know, that's really up to you. This is really meant for desktops and laptops and even Macs if you need to. Now, SSDs, if you're not quite familiar with that solid state drive uh, versus hard drive, which is an actual spinning optical disc. And the less moving parts you have, the faster, quicker, and speedish your overall operations are gonna be. Arguably, I've been using SSDs for a very long time, mainly in my Surface Pro 4, Surface Pro 3, and the likes. But when it comes to my laptop, it's always been a hard drive. And the one big drawback with hard drives over time is that because it's a hard drive, you have to defrag, you have to do all these things that will try to keep the hard drive as young as possible and there's only so much that you can do. But with SSDs, because of the way that they're built, it can last a lot longer with reading and writing, and it's still gonna be very, very fast. I went ahead and contacted my friends over at Kingston. They provided this for us, but this is not a sponsored post. And I wanted to go ahead and clone my drive and do all the things that you need to do. I didn't know where to start. And then I also realized that I need an apparatus in order for me to read this SSD before I do the swap so I can do the clone. I didn't know where to get that either. So once again, I contacted Kingston and big ups to them. Not only did they give me the product that I require, which is an enclosure, they gave me a whole upgrade kit. Now this upgrade kit works not only for laptops, but also desktops. You got the enclosure kit, but you also have the mounting plate, mounting brackets, and that's gonna go if you have a desktop. You have the SATA power and data cable. Again, that's for the desktop. Uh, some adapters, and then most importantly, the Acronis cloning software. There's a lot of different cloning software that you can use. Acronis is the one that they recommend, the one that it comes with, so you don't have to spend any money. You don't have to worry about using kind of shifty freeware. So check out Acronis. Now, I have a 750 gigabyte hard drive, and this being 480, obviously you can figure out I needed to take away some stuff. I used a free program called WizTree, like Wizard Tree, and this allowed me to visually inspect my whole hard drive to figure out what was taking up so much room, and I come to find out it's not really files, it's an actual program, After Effects by Adobe, and I don't really use that so often, so I removed that, and that ended up being over 100 gigabytes, which was odd, but once I removed that, then the software, the Acronis software, allowed me to clone the drive with no problems whatsoever. Now before you clone the drive, you have to put this into the enclosure. And then once you do that, it pretty much looks like an external hard drive. Use the Acronis software, click on clone, let it sit, let it do its thing for a few hours and then after a nice Thanksgiving meal, you're gonna be done. Your drive will be cloned. Once it's cloned, then you have to break up the hardware to actually do some of the grunt work, so to speak. But it's not grunt work whatsoever, it's pretty simple. If I can do it, you can do it. And all I used were these Stanley tiny screwdrivers. I probably should have grounded myself, you know, in case of static electricity, but I didn't. But it's pretty simple. One screw just removes the back, and then it gives you open access to not only the hard drive, but also the RAM. So if you want to upgrade your RAM, taking out the existing hard drive that's plugged into the SATA, it's just a few screws. You plug in the new SSD, put the screws back where they were, pop the back back on like it was, the battery door, if you will, put the battery back in, and then boot it up. And I've got to tell you, when I hit that power button, it booted up so much quicker than it's booted up in the past before. But that's one thing. I don't really turn this computer off, so turning it off and on, that's cool, but I was more inclined to wonder how quickly uh, one of my programs would boot up. And that is Premiere Elements 13 by Adobe. And that normally takes about, not even kidding, two minutes, maybe three minutes to fully load for me to edit a video, a movie, like this. And with the new SSD, it took like 30 seconds, if that, super fast. 
So if I can install an SSD, you can install an SSD. All the questions that I had regarding if the licenses of Windows 10 and Office and Adobe would transfer from the old hard drive to the new hard drive without any problems, there were no problems. At least I didn't come across with any kind of problems. And here's the best thing. As long as there's nothing wrong with the existing hard drive, like it's not corrupted or anything, you can still use it because it's the same size as the SSD which went in to this enclosure. So in here is actually the old 750 gigabyte hard drive that used to be in my laptop. So now, not only do I have my Western Digital hard drive, which I did a review of, go check it out, I also have this now. So I have two cold storages that I can use on my own beck and call, but when it comes to the actual programs and just utilizing the computer with the memory that is on board, I'm gonna be using the 480 gigabyte solid state drive. And I've gotta tell you, I don't install a lot of native applications or programs, so I'm gonna have plenty of room. With that being said, I have this extra 480 gigabyte solid state drive from Kingston that I'm not using because I'm using the other one in here, which came in the upgrade kit. Once again, thank you very much to Kingston for providing all the tools and devices that I would need for this upgrade, for this review, but this is not a sponsored post, but I still have this, and I'm not sure if I should give it away or what. So let me know what you guys think I should do. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a thing, leave a something to let me know what I should do. I This is the time of giving, right? So if you want me to, let me know if you want me to give this away and um, we'll try to take it from there. Make sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. You're subscribed here on YouTube. You can follow me on all the other social networks. All the links are in the description below. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Late.